Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Weirdly OCD. Now, like my last video, I have to start this one also out with an apology. Um, well, not really my last video, the video before that, where I showed you my very lovely comfort in hotel room, um, or lack thereof. Um, I know I had mentioned in that video that since I was doing my management classes and things for work, that I was going to make YouTube, you know, a pretty, pretty big priority um, from then on since I can get back into it and stuff like that. Um, well, I am on vacation from work this week, so I'm going to try and pump out five videos throughout the course of my vacation, and this is going to be the first one. So, I am going to show you how I organize and use my planner that I specifically have for work. Now I know a lot of people in planning videos or planner videos or plan with me videos tend to have um, the shot where you're looking directly down at their planner. Unfortunately I don't have that kind of equipment to do that so I'm just gonna have to hold it in front of the camera and it's just gonna have to work. First off I'm gonna tell you um, where I got my planner kind of the sections that I have it organized in and what it looks like. So this is the cover of my planner here and I actually got this from work and um, I want to say after my employee discount it was seven something because it's normally $9.99 and unfortunately we do not carry this planner anymore. Our store just went through kind of a decent size remodel and they took about 20% of our inventory out of our store. So one of the things to go was this planner. But that's fine with me because last year I actually had a normal size planner. It was like, you know, 8.5 by 10, 8.5 by 11, whatever that normal size, the bigger size is. Um, and then this past year, when it came time to get a new one, I thought I would downsize. Um, and get a little bit smaller one, a little more compact and stuff like that. I think next year I'm going to go back to the bigger one because <clears throat> um, the bigger one really isn't that much bigger than this if you look at them side by side. But I just feel like I can write more in the other planner and it actually had more sections that I could keep track of certain things I like to keep track of at work. So I think next year I'm going to go for the bigger one back to the normal size. So anyway, this planner comes with a little strap here um, that you can use just to keep it closed or you can use it to bookmark a page that you want to go back to for reference or whatever. However, I just use it to keep it closed because I have made myself little tabs um, on where everything is in my planner. Now these tabs are just the little post-it um, page indicator tabs. I'm not sure what they're called, but they come in different colors. Um, they just stick on the big part here. <clears throat> and I just have them sticking out of the planner. I have four sections in my planner. Important dates, phone numbers, expense, which I'll explain here in a moment what that is when I get to that section, and how to, which is pretty self-explanatory. So anyway, let's go ahead and open up the planner. Now, obviously, there are some things I'm not going to be able to show you or I'm going to have to block out for, um, you know, personal reasons and stuff that I can't show because it has sensitive information about work. So first, of course, as every planner has, is the information page. Um, yes, I do fill out my address and phone number in case for whatever reason my planner does come up missing. It never has, but, um, uh, you know, you just never know. And then down in this area, it has, um, a spot for my work address, phone number, um, and where I work. <clears throat> um, I don't ever really fill out the, this planner belongs to page. Then the next page, you just have a, is it three year spread of the next three years? I'm sorry, I don't know why 
I've got hiccups. Oh no, I'm sorry. The next five years. There's two more years here on this page. And then on the next page, it just gives you all the major holidays for the next three years. Um, next is a section I actually didn't use. And in fact, the next two sections I didn't use. And I probably won't, seeing it's already the last day of August. Um, that is Important Dates. And it has... Sorry about this. I'm looking at this backwards in the camera, so if it looks like a little jiggly or whatever, I'm trying to find it in the lens, but it has the different months through the year, and you can write um, important dates that you need to. And I noticed that I made a tab for that, and I never used it. Um, the other one that I probably could have used this year, especially with my management classes, is the planning and projects section, where... You can just write down projects, big projects that you want to get accomplished. Um, it's got, you know, a place for what the project is, the due date, and any notes you may want to write down about that project. All right, now in this next section here, I have, um, the section is called notes, but I figured it would be a good place for me to write down um, neighboring stores their store number, their address, their phone number, their fax number, and the store manager's name. Just so if I need to call them, I have quick reference of it. So <clears throat> I just did that on this page here. Put Walgreens info. And then on the next page, I did important. I turn this. It's kind of backwards for me, sorry. I did important phone numbers and passwords. So on that page, I listed our FedEx photo pickup 800 number and our account number, um, another phone number for FedEx to order stuff, Western Union's phone number and our account number for that, things for our photo lab. And then down on the bottom, I did a thing. Well, I guess I can't show that to you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's just combinations and passwords, different combinations for like the safe um, and alarm codes, email passwords, things like that. Now, in the next section, I wrote my schedule. And this is kind of like the full write out calendar that you can use. Over here, you know, you could jot down notes if you wanted to, but um, this is where I just wrote down my schedule. So I was pretty good about doing that um, until it looks like about July, but in my defense, June, July, and August for me at work was pretty hectic. I was at a couple stores working for different projects. I was out of town for my management classes. So I really didn't have, didn't really write, take the time to write down my schedule. Now this next section is the one I told you I would explain. And it's called expense. And what that basically is, is things that we use, or things that we order each week to keep our store running. It could be, you know, things such as small as office supplies, like tape, staples, um, things like that, up all the way to ad tags we need to print off the weekly sale prices, trash bags, uh, supplies for the photo lab, things like that. So what I did here was, I just kind of broke it down into categories. This up here is just kind of stuff I usually would order about on a weekly basis. Sometimes not so often, but then here is a list of all the tags that we have that I would order. Um, these are the WIC numbers, the specific number that I punch in to get that item. This is a description of what the item is. And then in the parentheses, I put how long it took to get the item. That way I knew um, how far out I had to order it. Here's a section for 1506, which is when we waste things. And this is a thing for security, 
um, just to put products, high theft products, in boxes. Then over on the other page, I have things for photo, such as paper, things like that. And then down on the bottom, I had some just, whoop, sorry, miscellaneous things. As I said, I'm sorry if this is a little shaky. I'm looking at this backwards. Um, and then the next section was a weekly breakdown. And unfortunately, I didn't use this as much as I would have liked to. Um, I, it was a very big hit and miss that I would use it. <laughs> but um, for instance, like here you can see on, what is that? January 6th, I put the, I had to do call-ins and print off ad tags. And I would just put a little box next to it and then check mark it once it was done. I really only did this with like big things that needed accomplished for the day, not little tiny things or things that we did all the time. But as I said, I didn't really, um, I didn't really use this section a whole lot, which is sad because it, it's, it's been wasted now. I mean, I can obviously still use it for September through December if I want to, which I'm going to maybe try to do, but um so that is actually quite a few pages in this planner in fact um it goes ta, 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 ta. well there i'm sure there's probably 52 of them seeing there's 52 weeks that's the weekly right there the weekly layouts that's how thick that is and then the next section is just for some notes which i didn't end up writing anything on that and contacts. Um, I did write down co-workers names and phone numbers in the contacts. I won't show those to you but you can but so you can see like kind of the layout of it here. You put their name I would put their name phone number, usually their position, what store they were at, if they weren't at my store, things like that. And let's see, so that goes on for about probably 10 pages or so. Um, and it is broken down by alphabet, so for about 12, 13 pages. Da, 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 da. Hang on, page doesn't want to. So then the next thing I did, um, it's another note section, is first I wrote down our vendor schedule. So I wrote down um, when each vendor would bring in their order for the week so I knew who to expect on what day. And if they didn't end up showing up, I could maybe call them and see what was going on. Or, you know, I could plan around the vendors. Um, and then the section on the bottom I have here, um, order dates and times, such as, um, this shows here like McLean, we had to order by Monday at 12 p.m. And then I just wrote the different sections of the store that we order from McLean. Uh, here we have Garda who brings our change when they're coming in, although that's not correct as far as the company anymore. We changed to a different company and we changed to a different day and time. Um, Warehouse and store expense stuff. Just reminding myself that I have to order it two days before we get the truck. And it has to be done by 10 a.m. And then Amerisource, who brings some different drugs to our pharmacy. Um, I can do the day of or the following day. Um, the next section is uh, where I use the how-to tab. And I just wrote down things that I didn't always do. So I wrote down the steps that way if I needed to do it, I had the steps to refer back to. So I'm not like, uh. So um, things that I have down here, I'm not going to show you the steps or anything, um, just for privacy reasons. But I have things such as ordering FedEx boxes, um, sending out different photo uh, products that we don't do in the store, um, how to fill outs with other stores, things like that. And then that's it. And then it just goes to the last page. So all in all, 
I do like the planner. I do like that it's compact. It's, you know, really easy to like just kind of, you know, have next to your side or whatever. You know, I I don't really care about how a planner feels in my hand. I know some people are like that. No, I am like that with pens. And I will tell you right now, um, I know this has nothing to do with planning. Maybe it does, but um, my all-time favorite pen is the Paper Mate. See if I can. This is the Paper Mate Ink Joy, and this color here is slate. It's called slate blue or slate gray. I can't remember. Let's see if it tells me. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. But the slate gray is my absolute favorite. And then I have another one that I bought, just a, something different. It's kind of like a tealish green color. But I love the way they write. I love the way that they feel in my hand. But as far as planners, I don't really care how they feel. I just want them to function. But as I said, I'll probably do this tab thing again um, next year with my next year planner like I did this year. Uh, because I didn't have to go thumbing through pages to try and find different things. I could just go to the tab and boom, it was right there. Um, not wasting a whole lot of time. However, I am think I'm going to get a bigger planner, a normal size planner. Um, but um, really, that's it for this video. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you my planner, how I used it um, in my day to day at work. Um, it definitely helps because some phone numbers are not really easy, easily accept. Uh, some phone numbers are not easily accessible on uh, our computers at work. So it helps that if I have this and I have them written down, if I can't find them or the computer is just being stupid that day, I have them in my planner and we can contact whoever we need to contact and not have to wait for the computer issues to be fixed or fix themselves. But anyway, that is my uh, planner video for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm sorry that I didn't really have it angled down for you like a lot of people do on YouTube. I just don't have the equipment for that. Um, and unfortunately, like I said, I couldn't really show you a whole lot because it was sensitive work information. Um, but now if I do have a personal planner, which I doubt I will, I don't, I never understood people who have several planners. I, I watch these videos on YouTube and there's people who have a regular planner and then they have a bullet journal and then they have a um, personal journal or planner and all this stuff here and I just to me it's too much I like to keep everything in one spot so and as far as like I know some people might be like well you, you know you don't write appointments down in here or anything like that not really. I mean, this is pretty much my work planner. If I have any appointments or anything, I just write them on the whiteboard over here in our office right next to the desk. That way, every day I'm in here, I can see them. I can plan for coming things coming up. Um, but with that, that is this video. That is it for this video. Wow, I cannot talk today worth anything. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it for what I was able to show you um, and how I showed it to you. But as I said, I'm definitely going to be pumping out the videos while I'm on my vacation. I am on vacation through September 7th, so and today's August 31st. So um, I have a couple special videos planned, a couple that do have to do with organization. So I hope you stick around with that. And if you enjoy what you see, please subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it very much. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.